Welcome back to Good Morning Quad Cities at 11. It's time to introduce you to our pet of the week, Beverly. And Patty McRae with the Quad City Animal Welfare Center is joining us this morning. First of all, darling. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> Can you tell her how she got into your guys's, I guess, got to the Welfare Society? Sure, sure. So we actually took in her mom, Bella, and she had eight puppies. And so we've had them since they were probably about five weeks old. And so we put him into foster. Um, to, so there was eight of them. So we put um, put him into four different fosters, two a pair of, in each foster. So they have been around other dogs, cats, kids, just so socialized. And obviously this is nap time right now for her. She was bouncing off the walls this morning. So this isn't typical behavior. She's just taking her little little siesta right now. And at nine weeks, she's nine weeks, correct? She is nine weeks. Is that yeah. around the time that they're allowed to be adopted or? Right, typically we adopt at eight weeks. Um, so all of her siblings have been adopted. Her mom's been adopted. She's the only one left. Mm, I Beverly know. is the only one left. She is. Oh my goodness. And so tell me a little bit about her personality. I know she's a little sleepy right now, but you said she's bouncing off the walls, that kind of stuff. Super friendly, outgoing, playful, and she has the best puppy breath in the whole world. She really does. Is that a thing? Oh, it is a thing. Yes, I love it. It is It is just totally a thing. But no, she's sweet. She's just um, playful. Um, she would be really a great addition to just about any family. Because you said she was in a foster home, so she's mm -hmm. been exposed to everything. She has. She lived in a foster home for almost three weeks. Um, so she's been in a home, and she just, you know, she's been back at the shelter now for a little over a week and really needs to get back into a home as soon as possible. And I can see a couple different things in her. What is she mixed with? Mom was definitely a Border Collie mix, and she's definitely got some pit bull. Um, boy, I don't know what else. Shepherd, maybe? I, I really don't know. Mom was probably about 40 pounds, so mom was medium. Hopefully she'll be about that, I would think. And at nine weeks with puppies, I mean, for someone who might be interested, is that something that, you know, they got to be home every four hours to take her out, that kind of stuff? Or Well, you know, that does make it easier to housebreak them. Baby gates are your best friend when you have new puppies or new dogs. So put them in an area where they're not going to chew on things. They're not going to get into stuff they shouldn't. They're not going to ruin the carpet. Um, so I highly recommend baby gates. Those are great. And then just getting them on a routine, feeding them in the morning, making sure they are on a schedule where they go potty right after that. And just getting them used to your environment, your home, your schedule. And I know the Welfare Society has something coming up for St. Patrick's Day as yeah, well. We do. So this Friday and Saturday, we're going to be doing um, an adoption special. And so it'll be um, all adult animals. They'll be um, 13, lucky 13. So the adoption fee will be $13. And what does cl what's classified as an adult animal? That'd be anything over um, six months of age. Oh, wow, gotcha. Yeah. So, oh, wow, so six months, that means they could be free if you went and adopted one for yourself. On right. When, what day is that again? It's gonna be this Friday and Saturday for St. Patrick's Day. Awesome, and is there anything else people need to bring, anything like that, if they're trying to adopt a cute little bubby? Uh, no, no, just um, come in, look around. Uh, we wanna help you. So so talk with our adoption counselors, make sure it's going to be a good fit for you and really think about the commitment and take your time doing it. And they can always visit, you know, go into the room with the animals mm -hmm. and feel it out. Yeah. Is there still restrictions with COVID or anything? How many people can go in at a time or? No, we don't have restrictions right now, but obviously we still are doing the cleaning in between people and still trying to keep it sanitized. But no, we, we don't have any, um, any um, restrictions right now. Great. Well, thank you so much, Patty. And if you guys want to adopt the adorable <laughs> Beverly, you can visit the Welfare Society. They are open Monday through Friday. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they open Monday through the, uh, noon to six. You can also visit their Facebook page or website.